Hey, what up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Mike. And Tyler. And all of the 562's coverage this week is sponsored by Long Beach Gives. Visit longbeachgives.org to find your cause and donate today. And of course, this video, as always, is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rib Company. We've also got Juju Smith-Schuster sponsoring our Long Beach Poly coverage this year, along with Jayon Brown and Playfair Sports Management and Lakewood alumni J.P. Crawford sponsoring all of our Lakewood coverage this year. Thank you to all of our sponsors. It's the start of more league football play. Long Beach Poly hosting Lakewood at Vets. The Jackrabbits undefeated coming into this game. Lakewood looking for some kind of a spark to get their season rolling. Yeah, trying to level up here. A tough test at Vets, especially when Dom Lolasio is getting into the backfield all over Braden down and on the first play of the game. That Poly defense sent a message and it was delivered. After they get the ball back, it's Devin Samples running hard, but this would be his only carry of the game. He came out due to injury, but it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Go Darius. It's your birthday. DC one for six. Polly up 7-0 early. Found that ball on the ground and went ahead and gave himself a little birthday present. Love to see that. Happy birthday, big guy. Lancers trying to get the pass game going, but Armani Wilson. Armani well suited to break that play up. And then on the first play for the Jackrabbits offense next drive, Darius and Jason Robinson go ahead and take the top off a 52-yard touchdown. And the Jackrabbits are up 14-0 just five minutes into the game, Tyler. Yeah, took the top off. Here comes the hot sauce. It was a big game for J-Rob. We will see more of him in this video. Sophomore Damian Matau with this tackle for loss in there for the Jackrabbit defense. A lot of guys getting shout outs for the D block tonight. For sure, and then Curry with a big run. Not often you see a step over hurdle and a stiff arm in one run from a quarterback who's hitting for 70% completion rate on the season, but that's who DC1 is. He's starting to get more comfortable running the ball this year. Yeah, Polly's been running that Curry up offense all season long. He, he's gonna hit our guy, Karan Green, and he's gonna get just on the doorstep, two yards away from Pater. Can they get there, Mike? Well, Green is going to find gold to put Polly up 21-0 late in the first quarter, doing a great job of running hard with uh, Devin Sample's sideline. A lot of that burden is going to fall onto Green in this game, and he was definitely out there putting his nose in there and trying to make a bit of a name for himself here in his senior season. Got to lean on Green if Samples goes down, and that's what they did tonight. Uh, Caden Clark running hard, a nice stiff arm there in the backfield, but it was tough sledding for that Lakewood running game all night long against Polly's front seven. And they were dialed in on Downen as well as they absolutely smother him on this play. For sure, definitely made it very difficult for the Lakewood to gain anything on the ground, but through the air, Downen finding JT Deku relation for a big <laughs> gain, a nice connection between the two of them. Downen definitely keeping his eyes locked on Quattro. What? Because he's loving Deku! <laughs> As he goes on the outside, trying to get across midfield, but uh, it's just unrelenting, this poly defense. Lola Sio and that front gobbling up the run game and getting the ball right back to Curry and that offense. Well, the offense was pretty efficient, especially in this first half. Curry to Robinson, a big third down conversion. There would be more of that later in the game. It's obviously been a storyline of the season. Curry, uh, as I mentioned, more of a threat running it, just kind of backing up for 10 yards as he gets Polly into the red zone. And then he's going to find Hezzy. No hesitation here as Raiden Brown goes up and hauls in the touchdown catch to make it 28-0 Jackrabbits. That's quality juggling and footwork there. I mean, maybe there's a circus act coming for Hezzy at some point in his life. <laughs> but Raiden Brown, I mean, we've been so impressed getting to see him as a receiver this year for the Jackrabbits. An immediate wide receiver one type target in this offense. For sure. And then it's going to be Ike Mikaele with the Stike Ike Ike hands. The repo man so good at screen diagnosis. Not normally part of the repo man package, but screen diagnosis and fixes. He's going to go ahead and take that ball back. Hey, talk to your doctor. Early screening is important. And <laughs> Ike getting in there and doing his thing uh, to get the ball back again to the offense. Curry wasting no time, rolling and Look at him throw across his body here on the run for Jordan Malaulu to pick up the first down. Great play by Sticks beyond the Sticks. For sure. I mean, he dotted that ball in there, too. And then it's touchdown number two for Brown. That's 35-0 halftime lead for the Jackrabbits. This is, I have to say, kind of what they wanted to do. I mean, they didn't feel like they played sharply against Lutzinger. They had a team meeting about it, so we want to come out a looking a little bit crisper. Second half, such a great connection between Curry and Robinson. If J-Rob didn't catch it, it was going to go to you, Mike. Not sure if you would have caught it or not. Eight <laughs> catches for 177 yards for J-Rob. That's a pretty darn good night as uh, he is just a tough cover, the USC commit. Total problem. And Karan Green reaches out and scores, but that, that ain't going to count. Polly had four 
touchdowns called back because of penalties, that's a buzzkill. Yeah, definitely, and I think that's what's important for them to learn in these more league games is, is uh, keeping their hands to themselves on holding penalties. They do go for it on fourth down. Looks like they're going to get it, but Tyree McCowan forces the fumble. Raiden Brown actually catches it for Polly, but he's short of the marker, and that's going to be a turnover on downs to the Lancers, a big stop for that Lancers D. Yeah, great job to get in there and poke that ball free, but unfortunately, that running game just went nowhere. Negative yards for the Lancers. Credit to Polly's defense for locking in all night as here they go again. Negative yardage for the rushing attack specifically. That Lakewood defense playing hard up front too, really disrupting Polly's rhythm in the second half, just giving up one touchdown. But they really did not have an answer for the connection between Curry and Robinson. As we said, every time they got into a third and long or even a fourth down situation, you knew Curry looking for Robinson and he found him every time. Yeah, whenever he needed him, he was there. Promising sophomore running back here, Xavier Jones, got uh, got this score. But again, it would get called back on the penalty. But good to see the Young Bucks getting in and getting a chance. And it's Tino time. Speaking of the Young Bucks getting in, our guy Valentino Sainz Cascharita with the touchdown pass to Ezekiel Orozco. A great connection between the two of them. Uh, and uh, and shout out to Tino, our guy, you know, happy to see him get in and get a touchdown pass. Poly defense trying to post that shutout now, but as we get late into the game, the starters are sitting. You know Lakewood really wants to break up that donut as Downen is going to find Takeem Ray Brown Jr. Yeah, they're definitely going to play with pride here and try to make sure they get on the scoreboard. But Jace's Jones for Polly going to come in and get the big sack of Downen. The backups are in, but they don't want to give up any points either. But... Break that donut. Lakewood on the board is down and finds Ellis Gibson. A beautiful bobbling touchdown catch going into the end zone. Polly would hold on to win this thing 42-6, but Lakewood did get that last score and hopefully some momentum for them as they continue on in their more league season. Yeah, I think both teams have positives to take away from this. Polly looked good in all three phases of the game. Lakewood gets that nice momentum at the end of the game. Uh, to put some points up on the board. Both of them will be rolling on into more league play. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. If you want to see more Jackrabbit and Lancers action, you already know the 562 got you covered.